Now let's discuss question number 14. Explain any three functions of opposition political parties. Functions of opposition political parties. The first function, it criticizes the government for its wrong policies and programs and their implementations, which creates awareness amongst the people. Second function, it criticizes the government for its failure. Third function, it mobilizes the opposition to the government. Okay, let's see now more points also, but you need to mention only three functions here. It keeps people aware of wrong policies and programs of the government. Fifth point, it acts as check and balance against the government and it provides alternatives to choose from as it voices those views which are different from the party which is in power. So these are the main functions of the opposition political parties. Opposition plays a very important role in a democracy. Now let's see the next question, question number 15. Let's start question number 15. How can consumers use their right to seek redressal? Explain with example. Right to seek redressal. Consumers have the right to seek redressal against unfair trade practices and exploitation. The second point, if any damage is done to a consumer, he or she has the right to get a compensation depending on the degree of damage. Let's see the third point now. There is a need to provide an easy and effective public system by which this can be done. We will also discuss the example here now. Prakash had sent a money order to his village for his daughter's marriage. The money did not reach his daughter at the time when she needed it, nor did it reach months later. So Prakash filed a case in the district level consumer court and exercised right to seek redressal. So through this example, we can illustrate how a person can avail right to seek redressal. I hope that is clear. Now let's move on to the next question, question number 16. Now let's start question number 16. The assertion of social diversities in a democratic country is very normal and can be healthy. Justify the statement with arguments. Let's try to attempt this question now. Social diversities in a democratic country is normal and healthy. The assertion of social diversities in a country does not require to be seen as a source of danger. Let's see how in a democracy, political expression of social divisions is very normal and can be healthy because this allows different disadvantaged and marginal social groups to express their grievances and get the government to attend to these. Second point, in politics, expression of various kinds of social divisions often results in the cancelling one another out and thus reducing their intensity. Let's see the third point also. This leads to strengthening of a democracy. So we can conclude that people who feel marginalized, deprived, discriminated have to fight against the injustices. Such a fight often takes a democratic path, voicing their demands in a peaceful and constitutional manner and seeking a fair position through elections. I hope it's clear. Now let's see which question is given in the choice here. Social divisions affect politics. Examine the statement. Let's attempt this question now. Social division affects politics. How? It is generally felt that the combination of politics and social divisions is very dangerous for a country. The cases of Sri Lanka and Yugoslavia are clear examples. Let's see what is the case in Sri Lanka and Yugoslavia. While political competition along religious and ethnic lines led to the disintegration of Yugoslavia into six independent countries, the situation in Sri Lanka is also very explosive. Social divisions between the Sinhalese and Tamils are affecting politics of the country and have brought it in a civil war situation. You can see here how social divisions is affecting politics in these two countries. The third point, however, every expression of social divisions in politics does not lead to disasters and disintegration of the country. In fact, social divisions of one kind or the other exist in most countries of the world and wherever they exist, these are reflected in the politics. So social divisions cannot be seen dangerous in all situations. The only thing that is required is tackling them in a very intelligent manner. I hope the answer is clear to you all. Now let's move on to the next question, question number 17. 